Hi there. We're going to have a look at um, a little knockout for you. Okay, now I want to let you know before you watch and before you start making any comments right, that these are demonstrations of the effectiveness of points from players. So it's not combative yet, although you can see how it can be, and it's done very, very light for the safety of the training partner. Now, another thing you've got to understand is that. The guy in the clip had been to pressure point stuff before and pressure points just did not work on him. And he said that we could do all the filming at his gym if he was allowed to be in the clip, in the DVD, and to find out if we could make pressure points work on him. Because he'd been everywhere and nothing ever, ever worked on him once. Anyway, let's have a look at the clip. Right, this next one. We've covered already the hand being up here and it's coming up to the back and to the side. Okay, so we're going to add to this now. So, so you can see the addition, if you already know that, I'm going to put this hand at this side. Again, if you just face me, you no problem. So this hand is at this side and this one's just going to come up to here. So it's going to be, oh, come on, but don't have any trouble, this sort of thing. And from here, I'm not going to do it from this far away, I'm going to be a lot closer. But this is going to just come here, and this one's going to come here, and they're just going to meet like this, but they're going to wave together. Okay? When they wave together, it gets this amplified effect. So I'm going to cut the power down to sort of like 20 to 30 percent of what you saw previously, just for the safety of the training partner. Okay? So your hands here, I'll oh, forget it, forget it, forget it, and then it comes in. And Completely different effect on the body. Are you okay? <laughs> it sent you a bit. No? Yeah. I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Okay. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Okay. And uh, do you want to explain what it felt like? I know you're laughing. Hits your face. <laughs> Hits your face, and you go, "What was that?" And then it sort of vibrates down your body. You see your legs go, and you just go wherever your weight's gone. In this case, into the wall. That was great. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Do that. Right some more in a minute. <laughs> okay. Let's go. To recap on that one, obviously we showed it from here. You could be in close like this sort of thing in here and just get the same sort of effect from that. Oops. You're okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you get that same, oh, same sort of thing from real close. You right, go. Yeah. yeah. I just yeah. like that one. Do you want to explain that was good. Yeah. That was. There was a bit more of an impact on that one because. It's still in, straight into the base of the skull, and just straight down into the floor. Good. Yeah, I like that one, Joy. <laughs> okay, thanks, <laughs> Cam. That's good. Okay. Right, same sort of thing, but you're in close. When it grabs hold of you, you grab hold of them. Quite often, your head's touch. When your head's touch like this, if you just mind just stay where you are, Gavin, I'll just move away just a little bit. Yeah. When your head touches here, I'm going to put my head here, exactly where I hit before, because I don't want to hit with my head in training with Gavin. So we're here, I'm going to touch with my head here, which is going to help to short circuit his body out. And then this, this one, this hand, is going to do the same movement again. So we could be moving around, put my head up. And then, it gives you, you're all right. <laughs> yeah. It's quite much, whoop, whoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. good, yeah. Do yeah. you want to explain how that felt with the short circuit? Double the pressure comes down this direction and up at the back, meets in the middle, and then the whole the whole body just seems to collapse out from under you. It's good. Yeah, Effective, <laughs> yeah, I like that one, yeah. Okay. Some more remote. Right, a close-up for you of where these hands are. When we're in close in here, my head's against Gavin's head here. My arm's here though, here. And all it does is come straight back. Straight back. Now with the I went up with a hit Gavin. Yeah. The wave movement comes up and through. Up and through. And you keep your head on because that short circuits him and this just hits. And that's all it is. It looks like nothing, but it doesn't feel like nothing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And it just looks like that. Okay? Just so you got it from another angle. Hi okay. there. So you've seen the clip. Now, first thing you gotta do, like, subscribe, and that bell thing. Alright? The geeks keep telling me about that and I keep forgetting or something. Algorithm, that's all I think. Oh, I don't know. Anyway. What was being used there? Right. The one at the back of their head is called gallbladder 20. 
Now, if you want to find it, you can look it up because it's a different Chinese name. If you want to find it real quick, the bottom of your own ear to the spine, follow a line parallel to the floor, and on the round of the bone, just under here, under the occipital bone, you'll find it. You can press it hard on yourself and it'll have the best effect, and you'll start to feel some localized pain. Now, it's been banned in boxing for years, since time. The rabbit punch. Why? They know it works. If you look at a lot of old UFC fights, you see when a lot of fighters bend down like that. A classic one for me was when um, JDS knocked out uh, Cain Velasquez, big overhand right. He leant away like that and it landed round here. It just works. We've had dozens and dozens and dozens of them. Our security people all the time. It's just non-stop. It just works. Now, you know, are you going to stand in front of somebody and do that? No, it's a demonstration of how they work together. And so you've got to understand that. The next thing you've got to understand is that when they're put together like that, it's showing you how points when used in conjunction with each other have a better and better effect. Okay. Now, you've got time for when the initial one lands to the next one once you increase the power. So, if you've been tight in a clinch and had some sort of contact with the front of the head or even the back of the head before, and you get into a clinch again a few seconds later, there's still going to be a sort of a knock-on effect, if you like. There's still going to be that chance that there's already some input in there which is going to help you with the rest of it. Now, another thing. We're going light, obviously, because it's training, demonstration, teaching. Right? That is teaching speed, teaching power. Now, there's a huge difference between teaching a technique and whacking a technique on. So there's that. Now, another thing that we get is, oh, don't see that in the UFC. Okay. Some things are not a one-on-one -on -one sports match in pants when you're out doing security, your police, or you're just out in a bar having a drink. Not everybody's in pants in a cage doing their stuff. Not everybody's a trained fighter in pants in a cage doing their stuff. Right? And it's not always one-on-one -on -one with a referee, is it? in a self-defense situation, or when you're doing security. A lot of times, these sort of things where you're hitting back here and doing all that sort of stuff, and other ones that we've shown, it might be that the bad guy is arguing with one of the bouncers, and the bouncer's giving a signal to the other bouncers that this guy needs taking out. So another bouncer comes up behind, gives him a wallop, and they carry the guy out. So no, you're not going to see that in the UFC, which doesn't disprove something works or not, just because you don't see it in the UFC. There's a ton of stuff you don't see in the UFC. Yeah, You don't see somebody getting bottled, stabbed. You don't see multiple assailants. Loads of stuff you don't see in the UFC. It doesn't mean that techniques don't work because you don't see them in the UFC. Some things are not allowed in the UFC. Let's get that one out of the way, right? Because that's a typical argument that people use. Oh, you don't see that in the UFC. If that's the level of intelligence of your argument for whether something can be done or not, then I can't help you. Because you're at such a level that there is no help. Okay? It's obvious with certain things it's not going to be used in the UFC. Duh. And if you can't figure that one out, then yeah, you've got major issues. Anyway, that's how that one works. When you train it, train it light. When you start it, it's better to have nothing happen, first of all, than you hit them too hard and hurt them. And you'll see the effects on Gavin in that clip. Even when he got up, he was still wobbling about and stuff like that. We know what we're doing. We know how hard to hit. So, yeah, we can do it 
safety and it still looks pretty dramatic. Obviously when somebody hits the floor, if you've got to finish it up, it's pretty easy, isn't it? You can either run off or you can stop and kick the face up. Right? But you don't jump down and start grappling like the UFC, do you? Like the street fight. Right? So you won't see that in the UFC either, will you? Stop and kick to the face. Anyway, there you go. Enjoy. Thanks for watching, if you have been. And uh, remember, like, subscribe, bell. Later.